So you wanna create your own hunting show, but you don't know how. Well today, I'm gonna to take you through that journey. All right, so why do you wanna have your own hunting show? Well, today, it's kind of fun just to be able to film your own stuff, but why not share that with the world? Everybody seems to think you have to have a huge platform to do so, but in today's modern world, that is not the case. Nowadays, you can use platforms like YouTube, and TikTok and Instagram to really build your following on a brand you want to create in the hunting industry. Why is this important? Because in hunting, you can do it. And that's the thing, you can have fun and still create your own show. Now, a lot of people would say, why do we need more shows? We have too many. But that doesn't matter. What matters is you creating something that you can be proud of that you'll have forever. So these videos, these hunting shows that you can create would be fun, but who knows? Maybe it turns into something great, maybe it doesn't. But there are some things to do in order to do this. We're gonna go through it here today and have some fun together. So let's go through it step by step. So all good shows have to have something specific that's gonna draw you in. Number one, you need a brand. What is the brand you wanna perceive and put out there? Now, I know you think that some of these shows out there today are doing a great job on all these social medias, but remember, a lot of the shows have been doing this a long time. They're just simply moving their content over to these channels like TikTok and YouTube to help get more exposure for that content. You can do this yourself as well with your own content. You don't have to always share your content with other brands to let them use it and grow. You can grow yourself and have fun doing it. You need to get the website domain, the TikTok domain, the Facebook domain, the YouTube domain, the Instagram domain. You want to get them all the same if you can align. Number two, do you have a specific logo you want to trademark? If you do, you need to go to LegalZoom.com. Use something such as this to help you go the extra step with the legal portion of your business and understand how you want to treat it as a business or just plainly a hobby. Number three, you're going to need equipment. Um, you don't have to have the best of equipment. With today's cameras on your iPhone and Samsungs, you can do a lot with just your phone. You could film from your phone right from your tree stand. You can film from your phone in videos such as this. You can film from your phone in all aspects of what you want to do. Whether you're doing horizontal or vertical, you could do it all on your cell phone. Now, do you want to step it up and have a camcorder that goes a little bit further? Sure. You can spend under 300 bucks and get a little camcorder that's gonna do that. You can also get GoPros. Those work awesome in the field. A lot of us are solo filmers. I film myself solo all the time. So I use things like a Tacticam or a GoPro uh, or my phone to do that in the field. But there are different ways to do it. And we'll just look at some of those today. All right guys, here's some of the different camera options. Again, GoPro is a simple camera and it has a lot of capabilities with how you mount it. It also has remote controls. You can go up to like 70 of these at one time. So it could be expensive and cool, if, depending on how many you have. Here's a cheaper, lower cost option for camcorders. This is a little Canon. This is on Amazon, very low cost. This is only in 1080. Um, not 4k, but that's okay because you know depending on what you're doing and what you're using it for It should not really be that big of a deal. This is a mirrorless camera This is another option just another camera you could use in the field with a bigger lens of course um, And then there's things like uh, your phone obviously we talked about that and then you have things like this DJI uh, which allows you to go mobile and have a what they call a stabilization built into it so when you're walking around filming it'll stay dead steady and the quality of this would be comparable to your gopro so these are just some of the tools i use but if you were a, a show on tv like a national show generally they're using more uh 4k like a red cinema camera more cinematic stuff you'd find on that bnhphoto.com uh, a lot more expensive but again for my toolkit for something easy to use for my youtube type stuff this is what we're using here all right, the next thing is editing. Now, editing is an interesting part of this because you could do it on all sorts of things. You could do it on your phone, you can do it on an iPad, you can do it on Final Cut, on your iMac, you can use a Adobe Premiere and do it on your PC. So it just depends on what you want to learn, but I recommend learning one of them. It's really important to know how to edit something and have fun doing it. You need to find enjoyment out of the whole process and not just one thing. If you're gonna create a show and just try to hire those things out, you can do that, but you're gonna spend a lot of money to do it. So it's really important that you learn how to do the whole circle of what you're trying to do here and create your own hunting show. My recommendations are use your iPhone to edit. There's ways you can do simple edits on your iPhone using apps like Splice or Adobe. You can get that right for your phone. 
um, iMovie works as well. You can also look at Final Cut Pro, which is what I use on an iMac. Um, you can use Adobe Premiere to do your full videos. It's up to you. Uh, and a lot of those apps also provide free music you can use as well. So that's important. After your video is edited and done, you now have to decide what platforms do you want to focus your, your new hunting show on. There are platforms such as YouTube, uh, Instagram, TikTok, but you have to be understand each of those platforms. They are different, meaning that in YouTube, you can post any of the video you want. On TikTok, you can't post an animal being shot by a bow or a gun. So you have to be careful, you know, understanding the rules of each community, but uh, it can be done and YouTube's a great starting point. Once you get your show established, you then have the option to try to go to things like Carbon TV, Outdoor Channel, Sportsman Channel, uh, My Outdoor TV. There's different options for your show at that point once it's fully established and rolling. A team. Well, you don't really need a full team to do your videos. You can do your own videos and have your own show, but you can assemble a team. I would suggest your friends are always best to start with, people you can trust to help do the content you need to do. Sponsors. One topic that's really hot is sponsorship. When you start off in the beginning, your focus really should never be about sponsors. It should be about your content. How can I create something that people want to watch and therefore the sponsors come with it? That's how the business works. It's not as simple as I have something, now you need to sponsor it. It's not that way. It's I have something people are coming to see and now sponsors will come along with that. There's many times where sponsors will just contact you. Should you contact sponsors in the beginning? I would say absolutely not. So this portion here penetrates the hide, activates this piece, which flips open into this. So this part comes out of here while, when it's already in the deer. Uh, it's, it's kind of pointless and everybody knows, even if you put a brand behind something, when you're starting out with zero views and low numbers, that you're just doing it for a discount or not anything at all. You just want to show a brand. Don't even show the brand. Just focus on you and how can you and your show become something big. And it might not. It might just be something where only your videos are being shown to you and your friends. And that's okay. It's still fun to promote archery, promote bow hunting in a positive way on your channel on how you want to do it. The last part of this is just sharing your content with friends, family, and whoever will watch it. I recommend highly sharing it across different platforms if you can, if it's appropriate, uh, and getting out there and really meeting people at shows. And again, don't focus on sponsors as much as focus on building your brand. And always remember this, if you say you're gonna do something, do it. The last thing you ever wanna do is ruin your integrity. And people will always remember that about you and your brand. And it's really important that you don't go that direction. So have fun, stay safe, and make sure you get out there, do some archery and bow hunting today, and uh, have some fun creating your own show. I'd love to see it. Post it below so we can see it here right on bowhunterplant.com. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.